Hi everyone, David Maley here, and today I'm going to show you some really cool stuff with plotting and graphing uh, scatter plots in R. What we're going to do is we're going to first start off with some basics of what is by default in R, and then we're going to go into the ggplot2 in the next video to go into some more advanced plots and end up with something like you can see down here in the bottom corner. If I bring this up bigger, we're going to have a custom plot like this. So you can see the uh, trend lines, the uh, uh, you know, different years, different attributes in there by different colors, things like that. So let's go here and let's bring this code down here a little bit. That's good enough right about there. And so what I want to first start off with is we're going to need re these packages right here, RGL, ReadXL, and uh, Tidyverse. Some people you need to put the ReadXL location uh, for some versions of R, so if you do that code's right here. Um, again, also you, it, for the second video when we do do ggplot, you don't necessarily have to use Tidyverse. You can also bring in the ggplot2 library by itself. So that's your option there. That's why I put that right there. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to bring in this data. So let's go right here. And this data is the bike share data set from uh, uh, University of California Irving's uh, data science department. It's a ver very widely used data set. Uh, if I show it to you here, basically it has the days, it's two years, 2011, 2012, uh, season, year, month, holiday, uh, temperature, and uh, count. Count is the uh, number of uh, total sales for the day or rentals because you have casual and registered. Casual is your new ones, registered are your repeats. So that's how that works. I'll get into the other columns here in just a second because I've made those. All right, so next what I want to do is we're going to convert the temperature to Fahrenheit. And the reason being is, if you can see it right here, uh, if you go back and look at this, temp is 0.34, and it's supposed to be 34. 0.19 equals 19 degrees, so it's off by 100. So what we do is we go back here, and I use this code right here. So what I'm doing is I'm taking temp or the test data three dollar sign temp which is your the data frame right we put this in a data frame test data three is a data frame if you don't know if it is or isn't hit or type str the str function and put in test data three inside of it and you'll see now this what this does when i enter this is it's going to take that uh temperature of like 34 and make it earth 0.34 and make it 34 that's what this does right here so it shows more appropriately on our graph so instead of sitting there you know people want to if I want to copy this I want to uh, take this image of our graphs at the end and give them to somebody a, a user or a requester I don't want to give them something that I have to explain too much you know I want to make it very easy for them so if I go back to our data here see how temp is 0 0.34 0 0.22 0 0.165 okay by doing that line we just did where is our temp? There it is right there. So you see that? Now it becomes, instead of 0 0.34, 34 degrees, 22 degrees, 19 degrees. And as you go on throughout the year, you see it get warmer, 60 degrees, 50 degrees, 74 degrees, and so on and so forth, okay? So that's how that works. So we want to do that. Next, and that's, you don't have to do it every day, so it's just this data set comes with it to, the, to a hundredth of what it should be, so that's fine. So next what we do is we're going to plot this. So we're going to take this right here, see this line right here, we're going to plot it by an X and Y. So our X is going to be count, right? And our Y is going to be the new R temp. I could use temp if I wanted to, but you'll see in a second why I don't want to use that. All right, so if I take that and I hit enter, here we go. Now we have temperature. Now see how it's 20, 40, 60, 80? That is correct. If I didn't do that, this would be 0 0.20, 0 0.40, 0 0.60, and 0 0.80. So if you were to copy this, snapshot this, and send this to somebody and say, hey, here's your scatter plot, here's your data for right now, they would come back and say, what is this? So you just want to eliminate that if you can. So that's why we did the thing above it. Now this is our scatter plot. This is a generic scatter plot, and this is without just default the way it is, temp versus count, right? So count is right here. And again, these are data frames and these are the labels, and that's the way it is. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this a little bit further. So we're gonna take this. And see this line right here? What we're going to do is we're going to add a title to it, which is the main. So comma, main equals daily bike rentals by temperature. 
we're going to add we're going to take these two away and we're going to replace them with rentals and temperature that's what this does so what we did was we still have x and y but now we have a comma and we have x lab which is your x label equals renters or rentals and your comma y lab is label is your temperature and then the main is your title so let's run that and see what that does there you go see now look now you got daily bike rentals by temperature temperature and you've got rentals down here it looks a whole lot more professional than it did before now what we're going to do is we're going to add to this we're going to add fit lines for regression and low s and a uh, we're going to first add a regression line and what this will do is it's going to show us the trending right so we want to see trending but I'm going to show you why we do two of these so the first one here is this AB line function and inside it is LM so we're doing a linear trend and we have inside that we have a little we have our temp right which is this temperature and then we have sales which is count we also have this in between them this little squiggly so that squiggly is the top above the tab on your computer keyboard that's the one you want not a dash a squiggly and then we're using color equals blue because I want to be able to identify this and I want to be able to identify it from the next one we're going to do so let's first do that one right make sure we get that end one in there so we do this and there we go that's our straight line trend so if we were to do a straight line we're trending in this direction so if I have 5,000 rentals I know that the temperature probably is going to be around here but see there is a swing though okay but the, so that's just a reference and then if I had temperatures 40 degrees we know we're going to be somewhere you know in a big swath of sales but we're going to get better than that okay so next what we do is this next line which is a fitted trend line which follows a little bit more with a curve and what this one right here does is its lines the lines function with low s inside it l o w e s s and then inside that you have your x and y right so our x is what sales right rentals and our y is our temp right now let's see what that does now keep in mind this is just adding we're just supplementing this this original graph so I don't have to go back and put in the main the, the title and all these other pieces and stuff this just lays on top of that so let's just do that and this is gonna be a magenta color right so let's hit enter there it is so you can see it right here so it's actually going with a curve like this rather than a straight line okay but we can do better than that and be even more accurate and so what we're going to do is in the next video I'm going to go deep into ggplot with you and we're going to go over multiple multiple different graphs and ways to really make this pop and shine so I can snapshot this and put it in a report and gladly display it and it'll be very good looking it'll show I can put different attributes in there so like this it's all black right all the dots are black I could have it by a season by month by year by whatever I want by different colors and all kinds of things so stay tuned and watch the next one where we're going to take this and go farther but this is basically how you quickly do plots on data in R thanks again for watching please subscribe like and comment and have a great day